Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. I have my very first top five Wednesday, although it's not a Wednesday, it's a Friday, but I recorded this video on like Monday or Tuesday, but it was not a good video. I'm gonna re-film this video and this time is going up on a Friday. I'm not gonna do a top five Wednesday every single Wednesday because sometimes I just do not like the topic or I just do not have enough books to show you guys for that topic, but today I have. So this week's topic is the best books that you've read that were suggested to you. So on number five, I have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. As you guys know, tons of booktubers have been talking about this book and I read it last month in January and it was a really great book. It was very action packed. It had a very good plot. The characters were good. They were not like amazing. And of course this book had a lot of same like young adult tropes, like the same things as other young adult books. This is about a society where where people are divided by blood so you either have the red bloods or the silver bloods and the red bloods are like the workers and they have to work for the silvers and the silvers have power so they have all kinds of different abilities we follow our main character named Mare, and she has red blood but has silver powers so mwah, what's gonna happen in this book so the sequel came out about like one or two weeks ago and um, I cannot wait to read glass or like I'm really excited to see where the story is gonna go then my number four is since you've been gone by Morgan Matson when I first started watching booktube videos everyone was talking about how this was like their most anticipated book release of 2014 and I immediately bought it and I immediately read it and it was truly an amazing book. So this book is about Emily and she's quite a shy girl uh, but her best friend Sloane is very enthusiastic and spontaneous so both they make a really great BFF couple but then all of a sudden Sloane is gone she left town and uh, Emily gets a letter from Sloane which has like 13 things on a list that Emily believes she has to do to find Sloane. And you basically follow all these things that she has to do and that she crosses off the list and her journey to finding Sloane and making new friends and romance and a job and all that kind of stuff. Then on number three, I have the Anna and the French Kiss Companion novels by Stephanie Perkins. So in this series, you have three books. So you have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door. And last but not least, you have Isla and the Happily Ever After. I'm still like, Hmm, which one of these two is like my favorite because Anna is just like such a cute and adorable book but Isla is too. Only Isla can sometimes be a really anxious main character. Like Etienne is so perfect but Josh is just such a great artist and mmm. Oh, I don't know which one I choose. But Anna and the French Kiss about this girl named Anna and she goes to a boarding school in Paris and basically you follow all her things during this school year. So she makes new friends, she meets a boy who is extremely cute but has a girlfriend. I love it so much. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and if you still haven't read it, you are crazy. You need to read this. This is amazing. So I'm recommending it to you right now. On my number two, I have a very well-known and beloved fantasy series and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah G. Mass. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys have read this series. I've only read the first two books in this series but then I'm gonna read the prequels, Era Fire and Queen of Shadows and I'm super excited. I just love this fantasy world. I love so as a main character. I love Kale. I love Kale, so I'm team Kale. This is an epic fantasy series and if you guys haven't still read it, you should. On my number one, I have a book that is very, very popular and the author as well. She is extremely popular and this is also my favorite book of all time and I heard everyone talk about it so that's the main reason why I read it and that is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. This is an amazing story. Again, I'm not gonna say what this book is about because I think that you should just go into this book without really any expectations. You should just read it, just read it. It's like my favorite book of all time. If I had to take a book with me that I could read for like the rest of my life, it is this one. So those were the five books that were suggested to me and that I absolutely loved. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.